Hi everybody, I am Simon from Doucet Machinery. I am supervisor of installation and after sales services. Uh, we are here today to present you a SRX clam carrier. There are two main char characteristics to describe your SRX. They are, there is the width, which can go from six feet and a half up to 24 feet and a half. This one here we have is uh, 14 feet and a half. Um, also, there is the number of sections that you, that you have uh, on it. So here we have six sections. These are the row that goes around the SRX. So it can go from six up to 80. Actually, uh, the number of sections depends on uh, your production time and also the dry time of the glue that you're using. Uh, if you have any problem calculating the, the number that you need, call us and we'll help you calculate that. So on this specific SRX, we have a 36 inches clamp. Uh, these are Acme screw clamps. Um, so you have a mobile screw, which is mobile with the Acme screw. On the standard model, we have the rapid change clamps. Uh, which allow you to uh, quickly move the mobile clamp by hand. Uh, you, would, uh, you would use the Acme screw in the case that you would uh, probably use a robot, a tightening robot in your, in your machine in the future, or if you just don't want your operator to have to reach the mobile, uh, the mobile jaw. Um, the, uh, the other spec on the clamps are actually the jaw height. So the standard one are 2.5 inches. Here we have 3.5 inches that came in option. This is mostly used for um, face gluing or just thicker application. So if you're doing a thicker material than 3 inches, you could use also a um, ex clamp extender that, that come in options. So can be 4 inches or up to 6 inches that are uh, actually uh, a part that you add onto the jaw and onto the mobile jaw as well. Another spec on the clamp is also the width. So standard will be four inches width clamp and uh, you can have as many as you want on a, on a section of the clamp carrier. But you could also have uh, eight inches wide, 10 inches center to center fixed clamp, which could um, make sure that you have a higher uh, production rate up to 20 percent on your uh, on your system so here we have the tightening and loosening gun uh, that you have to manually push and pull uh, so when you push it you uh, raise the handle and it will tight the screw you also have that flattener that allow you to flatten the panel while you are tightening your screws. You can also uh, loose by lowering the handle. And finally, here on the, on the tightening gun, you have an adjustment for tightening and loosening pressure. So by rotating this and by having a visual contact on the hydraulic unit, you can adjust the tightening pressure that you have. So when it's time to do the indexation, on the left here, we have uh, the control for the rotation, clockwise and anti-clockwise. There is also uh, this handle which controls the pressure of the indexation, which allows you to uh, adjust the pressure of the clamps holding onto the barrier here. So the clamp will always be at the same place. And this is a factory adjustment, so you shouldn't have to touch it. And there is also this handle which controls the, bar the barrier itself, so it will be pulled and pushed uh, according when you're doing the indexation.